wants an apple. I'm trying to figure out like where the apple would be. Oh, there's another pig. Looking out for an apple just in case. Oh, you know what? Yep, two more remaining. I know exactly where they are, but I sadly can't get to it. <laughs> just there's no physical possible way to get to those pigs. Do you have an apple by any chance? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't want just a red apple and I... <laughs> Free of charge? Hell yeah! Watch, she's gonna... I'm gonna take the apple. Yep, they're gonna take the apple probably. Hey, check your pockets just in case. Okay, remind him of his nap. What if he starts sleeping on the thing? could do this there you go if you wanted to see what the 3d was this is the 3d environment in the game so you got your 2d gameplay then you got your 3d gameplay so if you're wondering you got to see it Hey! Burn! Anything secret over here? <gasps> oh! 
It's definitely something. Oh! There's a either a really cool looking backyard this person has or I'm not sure. Oh, nice. <laughs> Looks like I need a key. Ah, and the key's up there. Gotta figure a way. Gotta find a way up there though. I'm gonna try and do these without any hints from the little tiny uh beard dudes. Tiny beards. It's my professional opinion. I don't need it. I don't need your stinking help. aesthetic of this game is just pleasant. one of those little toy houses. Let's go into claws. Oh! Alright, so there's interactables. The fake looking stairs. Oh, there's a key. Oh, and I need that key. Enter. See, why play Fortnite when you can play a game like this? <laughs> Be treated with respect. Treat yourself with respect. Play games like this. <laughs> Play fun little games like this. Treat yourself. Who <laughs> said Fortnite? <laughs> Seeing if there's any other stuff I can interact with. Oh. Nice. Ooh. All right, where does this key go? Oh, I know. Yeah, the whole collaboration with Stellar Blade and Near Automata, I think a lot of people were feeling like that could happen, <laughs> and it did. <laughs> It finally did. It was just a matter of time. Because <laughs> even though they're completely different games, like, people were waiting for it to happen. Just <laughs> completely different games, too. That's the funny part. 
because if you played both of them you're like oh yeah they're different <laughs> they're way different than each other can i mess with that box i maybe not i don't know Yeah, one's kind of like, it has, I wouldn't consider Stellar Blade a Souls-like, but it has certain Souls-like elements into it. Like, it's it's missing a lot of Souls-like features in order to really be called a Souls-like. That's why I still don't mind playing Stellar Blade. Oh, I can grab this. Oh, I probably need to move this in order to uh, interact with this. <clears throat> but yeah it's like it has souls like elements but it's still more of an action game than anything okay. here Get down there before I grab that so we get another gauntlet Yeah, like, Nier Automata is more action-based hack and slash, but it has a very light RPG mechanic to it. Like, it's not very interactive RPG mechanic, but it's a very, it still has the whole, you level up, character gets more powerful, you have augmentations in which relates to the RPG mechanics of things. You can totally change up the build. Just depends. <laughs> Which I guess in a small way too, you could probably say that Stellar Blade does that same kind of thing with augmentations and everything like that as well. Just, you know, if you think about the bare bones of each game, Stellar Blade, slower, more methodical, definitely very high on the parry system and everything like that. And, uh, you know, near Automata, very fast pace, a lot of movement. Um, there is, of course, a perfect dodge slash parry ability, but it's more, I think, in a way, Nier Automata feels more towards along the lines of Bayonetta because of the whole, like, time slows down if you do a perfect dodge and stuff like that. Which I always, I, I'm a sucker for. If you do a perfect dodge and you slow down time for me, I get very happy. <laughs> <laughs> More games need to play with time like that. Which I have still yet to play uh, Bayonetta 3. That is one of those games I still need to play. But I wish they were on more modern systems instead of the Switch. That's the only thing holding me back. Is that due to the fact it's on the Switch, it's still probably $60. And it'll I'll probably stay $60 till the end of time. And um, I just don't want to play it on an inferior console. I'd either put it on PC or put it on one of the other higher powered consoles, please. <laughs> Same thing with, uh, uh, what is it, Deadly Premonitions 2. I would love to see Deadly Premonitions 2 eventually come out for either PC or the other consoles. All these, like, games I want to play that are on Switch that are not technically Nintendo property anymore, except I think Bayonetta is technically officially Nintendo property, sadly. But, uh, because I think they bought that IP, or, yeah, they bought the IP, I think. Ooh, what year was it? 2014, 2016, one of those? Because <laughs> they're they're kind of the one they're kind of the people that brought back Bayonetta because Bay Bayonetta was supposed to be like almost a one off game until uh, I think Nintendo decided it was like hey we want to see a second game and release it on the Switch please or right, well or was it Wii U and Switch no I think it was Wii U yeah I think it was during the time of the Wii U. But man, yeah. Speaking of action games, man. See, I want I want more action games. 
coming out than, um, what do you call it, uh, Souls-like games. Because here's my general opinion, general, is uh, I'm done and tired of that, uh, pretty much that genre of video games. Because it's it seems like whenever there's a new Souls-like game, it just feels the same, and there's no like innovation anymore. And that's pretty much how I feel now. <laughs> so whenever I see another Souls-like game being made and it's going to be released. I'm... What, what do I do? Uh-oh. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, oh, okay, I could jump. So, yeah, if anyone is ever wondering why I'm not excited about new Souls-like games coming out, it's because I'm just done with them. <laughs> I'm perfectly... And until something can beat the, the the fun factor and the appeal that Bloodborne had for me, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good playing other like Souls-like games. Trying to turn out new... Oh yeah, the new powers. Walk up to the book and press L2, R2. Alright. You should be able to angle things in a whole new way. Okay. So I should be able to spin the book? Oh my god, I was interacting with... Oh, that's cool. my dude <laughs> welcome back bruh still though how do we get to the to the other pigs <laughs> that's my question <laughs> do we have to like I we probably have to fuck with the actual book itself wonder if I have to do the power swing Ah, no little Zelda nod. Because <laughs> this game, this game's base, at least combat mechanics, is like your traditional Zelda game. I'm gonna fuck with the book a little. I am going to fuck. Well, try it. Okay. Alright, that's not doing anything. What about this? Alright, that didn't do anything. Alright, so there's nothing else I could do. Tilting the book and all that. Sad days. Sad days indeed. I don't know how to fucking get to that guy, man. He's just kind of out there doing his own thing. I can't can't do anything about that unless I can jump over the wall, can I? It, it like it makes it look like he can, but he can't. It's so blue. Oh god, the whole blue era thing. It's just blue. Aren't ready for me yet? What? What else do I need to do?
I think I need to get those other pigs, but I just don't know how. Uh, oh. It's portraits of me, apparently. <laughs> Bold, bold, bold. There was a way. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Okay, man. <laughs> I can't like can't move away from her. Oh, uh, you can't climb up on the clock. <coughs> I think I talked to that guy yet. Hey, okay, it's Starry Night. So, due to the fact we moved the pig. Still doing good, Banksy. the gold poop girl hmm well if I want those other pigs I gotta find out how to get to them Shit. Oh, I guess there were secret portals. So there's secret portals for these piggies. So I was thinking, I was like, am I gonna have to do something else in the town before I can like get the last few pigs, which are only two? I was like, okay, there's secret portals. All I have to do is just kind of run. Usually when there's a secret portal, there's like. I think the page would be glow glowing green or gold or something like that, but I guess that's not the case. So now that I know, if there's something out of reach, maybe go into the third dimension and uh, see if you could uh, find a secret portal <laughs> or a secret interaction. Enemies, sleepy, poop puff, 
scrat, lat, impale. <laughs> Oh, man. All I want to do right now, surprisingly enough, is, especially after I'm done playing this game and I'm done with the stream, all I want to do is pop back in to Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 and do some PvE. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Oh, private servers are up, by the way, for that game. So for those who don't want to play with randos or random people, uh, private servers are now finally installed uh, or ha ha have been updated. So we are free now. You don't have to play with randoms ever again. For as long as I live, I plan on never playing a game that forces me to play with randoms. <laughs> it's like, no, either I play with the bots and they're decent bots or I play with friends or community members. Which I've noticed, <clears throat> at least when it comes to community members that have Space Marine 2, I've noticed that I think either, I think Bevo has it. Bevo has that for PC, which I could still play with them since there's cross-play compatibility. And I think maybe Cody has it. So I might be able to play with those guys. As long as they're hopefully still playing it. It'd be weird if they're not. It's like, wait, why did you buy the game if you're not... Still playing it. I think the only thing I won't do in Space Marine 2 is PvP. It doesn't really interest me. So there's like one thing that a game I've, you know, I bought that I won't <laughs> take advantage of is PvP. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's just, nah. It's not my, doesn't doesn't look good to me. Finally! Alright. We're about to meet the princess or queen. I'm saying, I'm thinking, yeah, it's a princess because I don't think she's married. She would be a queen if she was married. Uh, sure, she's aware of the 3D realm as well. Hopefully she's not evil too. Nah, she kind of looks like Princess Bubblegum. She can't be evil, can she? So are we just kind of dicking around here for a bit? I wonder what happens if we try and sit on it. Aw. Can't sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> 